Hello and welcome to another workshop vlog. Uh, today we are all working outside because we are having the ramps repaired, new cables and new bearings being put on, uh, new roller bearings being put on the ramps. So we are all outside in the lovely Shropshire weather, so it's a little bit cold. Uh, lovely, uh, lovely setting, but it is a little bit cold. So I have this auto sleeper to check off. Uh, I have already more or less done it, really nice. It's the Fairford, very useful layout. Obviously it's a bit messy at the moment because I'm midway through my checks. Uh, but we're all looking good on this one. There's a few little bits that it needs, um, like leisure battery, that needs doing. Hang on, let me, let me show you what we've got on Trello. <sighs> Trusty Trello, what have I got on this van? So we've already been through the checks. We've got reversing camera is not working. Well, the reversing camera is working, but there's no picture on the screen. Uh, antenna mast is missing. Bathroom sink's leaking. I need to do that. Uh, front skylight blind needs adjusting. So I think I need to move, slightly move the um, runners on the skylight. Uh, blue floor LED cover missing. I need to try and get one of them from Auto Sleeper. Uh, EHU cable new end, toilet set top seal leaking, so no, nothing, nothing too major on this one. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, got a water leak on this one, so I've got a little bit of water coming in through around the interior light, so I need to have a, a little check of that, find out where that's coming from. Uh, the Roman home has just come back from the body shop. We've had the wings, doors painted, all polished up. It's looking very, very well. It's looking very secondhand before we did that. So it's looking very nice. We've got the Heimer car. This is unusual. It's a 19 plate uh, and it's actually got a gearbox problem. So the gearbox is out and that's being repaired. We've got a skylight being done on the auto cruise. Uh, pre sale checks being done on a new Rapido. It's a very nice little van. One thing I noticed on these new ones the lights. The lights are absolutely tiny. I don't know why they make the lights so small, but Rapido. Let's crack on. So, water leak time. Just popped the headline. Oh, sorry. Just popped the interior light out just to have a little look. So apparently this is where the water is running. Uh, and there is a little bit of evidence on the sponge. There's a little bit right there. It's a tiny bit damp. Not damp that side. Uh, we'll have a little look. I wonder where that's coming from then. Doesn't look particularly easy to get to anything. Can't get to anything up there, so we'll have to do it from here. So I might have to take this headliner down. There's no signs of any moisture anywhere else. Further stripping. I think I'll do a quick water test first. Can't see anything else, so yeah, a little water test.
Yeah, no obvious signs of water coming in. So I think I'm gonna to have to take this, this part of the headliner down, just so I can have a bit of a closer look. Cause that is, that sponge is definitely, definitely wet. So water's obviously somehow coming down here. And running down here. So yeah, I think this is all but a, I'm gonna to have to get this out. Not a great deal of help getting the headliner out. Um, you can see a little bit of discoloration here, although it's not, I don't feel damp, even though that little sponge is damp. There's no evidence over that side, which is passenger side. That's the driver's side. Yeah, it's not actually, not actually wet at all. But that little sponge is, so. Not a huge amount of help so far. Oh, I can't really see a great deal. Uh, this is the GLP roof. This is Ultra Trials' own GLP roof they put in. And this is the interior, like headliner, so that is actually is bonded. So that probably is bonded before the roof goes on. So there's no way we can get that headliner because there is actually a false skylight just there. Um, so there's no way we can get this headliner down because it's actually bonded the other side. So you'd have to actually take the roof off to do that. So that's obviously, we ain't gonna be able to do that. There's no evidence of any other water there. Uh, well, that's just, that's, yeah, the seal's okay there. Uh, yeah, could potentially get this this part out, but uh, again, that's going to be difficult. I think um, I think what I'll do is water test it a little bit more. I'll water test it sort of here, see if there's anything that looks like it's coming in. I mean, windscreen it could do. Windscreen it could put capillary round. Um, there's no no signs of any water though, um, and then we'll water test like this area and then I'll move up to that area move further up see if we're getting any water through that way Start it up. <laughs> 